thousands will flock to the Memorial Coliseum next weekend for Northeast Indiana's only Disabilities Expo. And this is the sixth year for the event that draws people in a 150 mile radius. And joining us now is Lynn Gim Gilmore, Disabilities Expo Chair, and Kevin Hughes, a Sports and Recreation Coordinator. Good with morning. More information. Good morning to you both. Thank Good you. Morning. Good morning. Well, um, going on for six years now, what was it that you said we really need an expo that draws people from all over? Um, northeast Indiana here to Fort Wayne. What, what, what started this? Well, it was actually Turnstone and uh, with the AWS Foundation where I am, um, they wrote a grant to launch a Disabilities Expo on a, on a small scale at, at the Coliseum and uh, 1,200 people came out the first year and we said, well, let's continue that. So we have. So it, it, it's actually under the auspices of the AWS Foundation now. And it's a one-stop shop for all kinds of disability services and resource. And um, you know, I got a phone call the other day from a woman who um, had never heard of it and has a son who has um, le lots of special needs. Mm -hmm. She was delighted to hear what we're going to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one-stop shop is, is key. Right? It is really key. And this year we are focusing on Indiana Medicaid waivers, which are very critical to getting. Um, support uh, and funding for services. We're doing um, an, uh, um, um, a disabilities uh, report card for okay. the community mm -hmm. with part of the Americans with Disabilities Act, which is celebrated, uh, celebrating its 25th anniversary in 2015. So we'll be asking the, the public about their input on how are we as a community with, uh, in regard to disability services and access. And then we have the Riverfront Development is going to um, also do a survey. So. Um, individuals of all abilities can can provide their their voice and input on that exciting project. Cool. And that's something that you can go ahead and provide your provide your input at the at the expo. At yes. expo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, Kevin, you're actually the sports and recreations coordinator. Talk mm -hmm. about how you're involved with this expo. Yeah. Well, with the expo, it's a great opportunity for Turnstone to be able to showcase a lot of the sports that we offer uh, for individuals like myself who have some kind of physical disability. Uh, we have four sports that we're going to showcase at this Disability Expo. Uh, wheelchair basketball to kick it off. Uh, we'll have athletes from all different levels out there showcasing, competing. Um, we'll even have a Paralympian referee uh, oh, right. that will be out there. I'll, then after that, we'll do sit volleyball. Uh, it's a sport that uh, we're venturing into and really want to get going. And um, so hopefully people come out and see it and want to get involved with it because that's a sport that's up and coming in this area. Um, then after that, we're doing some wheelchair fencing. Oh, uh, we have a Paralympian mm -hmm. coming in for that as well. Um, and you'll get to see her demonstrate the art of the sport. Um, and then from there, we're going to do wheelchair, yeah, wheelchair curling. Now, we're not going to be on ice. Um, <laughs> we're, you know, we have you know, the Coliseum and all, but um, they have a dry land set up with the plastic and the, ball, um, the wheels on it and to showcase what the sport looks like oh, okay. uh, for somebody like myself in a wheelchair that willing to play um, curling. It's a lot of fun. Very cool. Mm -hmm. A couple of speakers there as well. Yes, we do. We have uh, Brett Eastburn, who is a, an Indiana native who was born without arms and legs, and he's a comedian. So that will be very interesting and entertaining and inspiring. And Mark Wellman, who is a Paralympian and a rock climber, uh, is back to visit. He was here two years ago, brought his rock climbing wall and adaptive equipment, and uh, he's, he literally is, I hate to say this, a rock star. Um, <laughs> and he had people up on the uh, top of the, the rock wall uh, of all abilities. So it's, it's really thrilling. Very, Very cool. cool. Thank you both so much for coming in. Nice to meet us about you. It. Well, the Disabilities Expo is Saturday, May 9th. That is um, next weekend at the Memorial Coliseum. It goes from 10 to 4. Admission is free. And you can find more at disabilitiesexpoindiana.org. More news and weather when we come back.